is the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go clicking. Chrissy's clickbait. I love Sophia Vergara so much. Same. She's found the fountain of youth 100%. She has. And she probably has a really good cosmetic surgeon. Yeah, just a little bit here yeah. and there. She sat down uh, with her co-star from Modern Family, Ed O'Neill. He was also in Married with Children, I think it was called. Yeah, Married with Children. Right. Someone Bundy. Do you remember? No. Oh, God, it was great. Great. Anyway, uh, she has said that she doesn't want Ed to die. He is by far the oldest in that Modern Family yeah. cast. Um, and she goes, I always joke with him, Ed, don't die, because if we do the sequel, it will take some time and you're the oldest of us. You can't be dead. True. Now, when I say it like that, it doesn't sound like Sofia Vergara, but her accent is such that are you even allowed to do... I think you... I'm giving you permission right Can now to do it. Can you impersonate her? She, she, made that, she made one extra quote to Variety about Modern Family. Can you do that? In the Your Sofia Vergara voice. No, I can't. I can't do the accent. I died to be... No, I can't do it. Do it. Yeah, you did it. No. I can't do it. But i tell you who can do it. Julie Bowen, her co-star. <laughs> you know, she said today, she goes, what are you going to wear for Ellen? And I said, you know, I'm going to wear... She goes, is it cocktail? <laughs> said, well, I'm wearing, like, trousers, but cocktail. 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 I, love I love it. I love it so much. I hope there is a... um. A, a reboot Sex in the City style of Modern Family. Yeah, if they did a TV movie, I feel like that's doable. No one's going to do it. They, they couldn't do another series. And also, I want to see where money is. Yes. They were so cute together, Sofia Vergara and that little chubby son of hers. It was a really well cast show. It's gorgeous. Hey, let's get on to Reddit. We love it so much. Live on it. Live on it. Here is a, uh, you've heard us say, am I the a-hole? Yes. This is, would I be the a-hole? Okay. So this is about, that. these are decisions that you have yet to make. This woman wants to ask us, should she leave her relationship, 13 years of it, because her boyfriend won't ask her to marry him. She just She just had a birthday. He gave her a ring. She joked, oh, is it an engagement ring? He went, and I love these words, he went weird and silent. <laughs> Apparently she's been talking about it forever. She's like, when I was 26, we were too young. When I was 28, we didn't have enough money. Now, you know, we're happy. Why won't he ask me to marry him? Should I leave? Would I be the a-hole if I left him? What do you think, Swanee? What's your answer? Well, I, I've never understood these situations. A, it's always the woman. Yeah. It's always the woman going, oh, he's not going to ask me to marry him. And I want to say... Is it uh, the 1100s? Yeah. Is it the 1200s? Surely, and you know that I'd, I've never been married. No one's ever asked me to marry them, so I don't know. But I would imagine that as two adults that have built a life together, that's a discussion that you have. You don't wait to be asked, do you? I no, don't know. No, you would have thought it, yeah, you would have thought... Had she brought it up this many times that he would have said, hey, I'm not that big on it. Why don't we just stay together and be happy? Like, why do we need to do this? Yeah, and then you can talk about that. And then that. talk it out instead of, like, this angst and taking it to Reddit. Would I be the asshole for leaving my 13-year 13 13 year relationship because my boyfriend hasn't proposed? I would yes. say yes. Yes, I would say yes. <laughs> just be happy being together. Yes. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Next. Chrissy's Clickbait. I'm excited about a movie. It doesn't Rich. happen often. The new Freaky Friday. Lindsay oh, Lohan yes. and Jamie Lee Curtis. It, don't, don't panic. They're not doing publicity. There's no release dates. I mean, it hasn't even been like finished yet. But they said, they got me when they said, it's freakier, there's more swapping. Good. That's what we want from Freaky Friday. That's all we want. I just want swap after swap after swap. I'm really impressed that this movie's actually got up and is going ahead because you know how often you hear about people like Sofia Vergara saying we want to do a modern family movie or like all these people that yeah, talk about... Yeah, nothing ever happens. Yeah, it never comes to life and this is like they're properly shooting. It makes me think that it was a very good experience back in the day because all but only two members of the cast are returning. Wow. And let me just think about it logically. So the original storyline was, you know, a mother and her daughter swapping. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's going to be the same, mother and daughter swapping. But they're much older. So Lindsay's character might have kids and then the her mum might be in a retirement village totally. and they swap. I wish it was them swapping in their real actual lives. Oh, my God, that would be so amazing. Jamie Lee going off to a bender as Lindsay Lohan. So amazing. Let's have a listen. Um 
to Jamie Lee Curtis, who's apparently gone around the twist. This one gets to sing, and it's so beautiful. Does it give you the itch to oh, want to put I mean, out more music? Yes, it always does. Are you encouraging her to, like, get oh, back in Oh, completely. Okay. Look, listen, I would give my dog a permanent limp. Just a little limp if I could sing. And by the way, Rooney is, like, the greatest dog. I'm just saying, like, a little limp. Okay, let's just, like, like a... put that out there. <laughs> well, no, I'm not, I'm not going to hurt my Rooney. Are you kidding? <laughs> Seems like an odd thing to do. It's like I would give my left boob, or yeah. I would. You know what I mean? I would have a, give a million dollars to be able to sing. I would give my dog a limp. What? Also, you know, like Jamie Lee is proper nuts when Lindsay Lohan is the same, <laughs> like reasonable one in the interview. She's had a very quiet in the interview. Anyway, yeah. I can't wait for that movie. I'm twenty twenty five. It's coming. Now, Swanee, I'm hijacking this because okay. our digital producer Marco. His uh, family came across an article when they were doing some research on Italy. Right. And there is an art- article called, titled, Is Over Tourism Killing Florence's Dining Scene? Oh. And it was from a woman who has written this big, long article about she Florence. She looks like she would be my friend. Well, I would like you to turn to page five okay. and read what this woman has written about. Oh, my God. That's my Instagram post yeah, it of, is. The, of the focaccia that I... <gasps> That I Uber Eats because it was so hot. It says, um, oh my God, she's, have I, I've done the wrong thing. Oh my God, she's written, I cannot get over how much this kind of post highlights everything that is wrong with the way we live and travel <laughs> today. Also, it is irresponsible with no thought or care about the wider consequences for the people who have to live in this overcrowded city. Why? In just one Instagram post, this Australian influencer has... I mean, I'm not an influencer. Has managed to tell yet more people to eat at this one viral Pibonino shop while promoting delivery services. <laughs> All of which weigh on the residents and quality of life. Yeah, hey, it's a city like any other. you got to get food. I love that you're being trolled Oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. But I would do it again. It was too hot and I wanted that sandwich. And so what did you do so wrong? Just ordered some panini? Yes, because I'd heard it was a great panini. Obviously now... I would order it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's us done. We'll be back Monday. Bye. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.